Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. When you talk about a monster, I was looking at some of the wind observations and the snow observations from Texas and Oklahoma, and boy, we're getting winds of 70 miles an hour with zero visibility, and we've had uh, up to 16 inches of snow in northwest Texas. Now, the thing is, the worst of this storm will stay northwest of here, just like the last one. But this is going to be nasty if you're traveling westward. The blues a blizzard, or the reds a blizzard warning, the pinks a winter storm warning, and the purple is a winter weather advisory, and these are severe weather watches uh, down to the south. Our winter weather advisory, the first one, uh, is generally I-74 and northward, and that is for tomorrow morning. Once we get past 10 or 11, it'll get much better, but during the morning hours, uh, generally in that kind of 5 a.m. to 10 or 11 a.m. time frame, mix of sleet, freezing rain, and perhaps a little bit of snow around here, very minor accumulations, half inch or less, before it changes over to rain. Now, temperature trend tonight will probably drop to right around 29, around 1 a.m., and then kind of level off, maybe, maybe rise a degree or two, Pretty close to freezing at 6 a.m. There's the precip comes in, we drop to 31. And then tomorrow, uh, we'll get about freezing by 10 or 11 o'clock. And then we're in the mid 30s for the afternoon with kind of a chilly rain and a lot of wind with this. Tonight, the winds will increase from the east and the east northeast up to 30 miles an hour for gusts at 4 a.m., 31 at 6. And a windy day tomorrow, just sloppy with the mix early, then the rain, 35 mile per hour gusts at 10, and even through the day, the rest of the day, wind gusts over 30 miles an hour. On future cast, this is 4 a.m. Most of the area will be overcast at that point. Uh, and notice the pink, that's the wintery mix. Freezing rain, sleep, perhaps a little bit of snow coming in. There's eight o'clock, that's the pink band. Generally pretty close to I-74 and northward. Continues to work northward through the morning. This is 11. Still a little bit maybe in the far north, but at that point most of the area is going to be under a cold rain and a wind-driven rain at that by 2. A lot of the area is in cold rain. And then we see a transition to more snow once we get into tomorrow night. Rain-snow mix and then going to all snow with time. We'll have periodic snow uh, tomorrow night into Wednesday, Wednesday night. Slowly tapering on Thursday. Notice all the blue around. This is Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. And by Thursday, I think one to three inches looks good for most of the viewing area. Now, way up north, Morocco, uh, up towards Wheatfield, DeMott, perhaps Rensselaer, and perhaps Brook, all the way to Winnemac and Rochester and Monterey, three to five inches there. But again, everyone else, one to three inches will do with this. And the entire pattern just looks raw and chilly. The first eight days of March, not very good. We'll have a lot of troughiness. It means scattered, occasional snow showers around, and temperatures running below normal. We may even have a couple of nor'easter snowstorms on the East Coast that will tend to reinforce the cold air. And you see that, you know, we should be in the 40s, and we're going to stay in the 30s for the next seven days with some periodic snow Wednesday, more scattered snow showers Thursday, and then just some scattered flurries and snow showers Friday, Saturday. The cold highs in the 30s, lows generally in the 20s, and, and just raw until we get to about maybe the 10th to about the 12th of March, and then a lot of warm air from down in Texas and New Mexico and Oklahoma will start to move here, and then we may get some really nice weather for a couple of days. Hey, we had some good news over the weekend. I noticed sand hill cranes flying north yeah. over my house. So yeah. they know what's going on, don't they? <laughs> they do, and that's always that always foretells when we're about to get some really nice weather, usually. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Thanks, Jed. Okay. Thanks, Jed. Well, this yep. snowy cold weather kind of reminds us of basketball. It's sectional time. Oh, it's the best time of the season. Yes. It's uh, the postseason party. Boys high